Hello, crafting crew! Any of the crafting trooper here. Well, first of all, let's welcome a new member that I do know is new because she added a comment to one of my videos. Her username is Pecan Baby. P as in Paul, E C as in Kathy, A N as in Nancy, Baby, B A B Y. She is, is living in Ireland, and I just found that so exciting to have a subscriber that lives in Ireland. So, welcome, Pecan Baby. I hope you enjoy your time here, and welcome to the crew. Thank you for joining us. And as of this morning, I am at 404 subscribers, which is pretty exciting. So, I thought besides that, I would give you an overview of my Knitter's Pride Symphony Dreams Wood or Dreams Symphony Wood Interchangeable Tunisian Afghan Crochet Hook Set. And this is what comes in it. You get a set of, oh, come on. Oh, it doesn't want to focus. All right, I'll do it this way. You get a set of eight interchangeable hooks, U.S. size, E, G, 7, H, I, J, K, L. Metric sizes correspond with each of those letters, starting with 3.5, 4.0, 4.5, 5.0, 5.5, 6.0, 6.5, and 8.0. Now, I don't understand why there's such a jump in metric size between the K, which is 6.5, and the L, which is 8.0. But evidently there is. Then you get four cords to create crochet length. 24 inch is the neon green. 32 inch is the orange. And 40 inch is the red, and metric sizes are 60 centimeter, 80 centimeter, and then it says in parentheses two numbers, not sure why, and 100, 100 centimeters. And the colors are neon green, orange, and red, respectively. And then the accessories are one set of cord connectors, eight end caps, and four cord keys. So let's go over this a minute. They're absolutely beautiful colors. I don't know if you can see them all that good here, but this one's a dark navy, kind of a maroon, a hunter green, oh, sorry, hunter green, another lighter red. I'm not sure what color this one is. Let's see. Oh, if I can get it out. Ah, come on. Oh, I've got to find another way of recording with my tablet so I can have hands-free Let's see what this one is. Oh, it's kind of a blue. Ooh, it's a bluey green, so it's kind of teal. That's really pretty. Neva would like that. That's her favorite color is teal. And then this one is a purple, I believe. Yep, pretty purple. And then this one is another blue, I think. Let's see here. Yeah, kind of bluey green again. Beautiful. So, here are the cords and the end caps. And there's an end cap by itself. And then here's the directions on how to fix the needle and the cord together, how to unscrew the needle and the cord using the end caps. I think that's it. Yep, that's it on that. So, I did put one together because I wanted you to see how this works with the keys. These are called keys, what I'm touching right here with my forefinger. All right, so you hang on to that with your left hand. You twist it towards you using the key, and with your other hand, your right hand, you twist away from you and that secures the cord okay and oh my gosh this join is so smooth oh it's wonderful wonderful then if you don't have um if you want oops i lost the key oh shoot well i'll get it after so this is an end cap so that 
and you put that on there so that you don't lose any stitches off the end. And then these are the cord extenders and you'll see right there, you see that little hole there? Right, ah, shoot, come on. Oh, this is not focusing. Anyway, trust me, there's a hole there. That's what you put your key in. And then you connect this to take the end cap off, connect it to this end where the end cap is, and then connect to another length of um, cord using the key to secure both. And then you would put the end cap on the second cord, and that will give you a longer cord. All the cords are the same diameter around, so there's no worries about gauge fluctuation at all. And then um, you can also, when you're done working for the evening or whatever, remove the hook or, yeah, remove the hook from this end and put an end cap like this on that end so you don't lose your work. So just a few tips on how to use them. I'm really stoked. I'm in the process of finding a Tunisian crochet project. I may just start again with, um, oh shoot. Sorry, I'm trying to get something off my screen. I may start with a dishcloth again or a, a face cloth because that's a good way to learn new stitches and it doesn't take a long time and you won't get discouraged. So that's it for that. Again, welcome to Pecan Baby. I'm so glad you're here. Everybody have a fabulous day. Remember to be kind and loving to yourself as well as to others. And thank you for subscribing ringing that bell, smashing that like button, commenting, and sharing my videos. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye-bye for now. Mwah.